Hello guys and welcome to this Blender 4.0 tutorial. This is a follow-up to my 2D mouth and eye rigs tutorials to see how to add or append or merge or join these rigs with a complete character rig. If you bought the mouth or eye rig from my Gumroad, I already fixed most of the issues that we'll tackle today, but this is not only about my rigs. You may have different rigs to merge and you could face the same problems we will solve today. So the first issue is that your rigs may be in separate Blender files. So this is our iRex, our original iRex. As I said, it is fixed now. For one thing, this is really a huge rig. If you click on this ball and do N, and check the dimensions of this ball, almost four meters in diameter. That's really a huge size for a human head. So in the last version, you will find a much smaller head and eyes rig. If you already bought the file, go ahead and download it. If you didn't and you decide to buy it, that would be a great way to support the free content I make on this channel. So the first thing is to add everything that we want to export to our uh, complete rig file to its own collection. So let's go here, let's right click and click on new collection. Let's name it eyes and let's put everything I guess parented to the face inside this collection. I think I will right click here and do select hierarchy and then move everything to the eyes collection and now we can save this file so file save now this is the character rig that we want to add our eyes to we go to file append and we find our eyes rig file we double click and then we find a folder named collection we choose our eyes collection left click and we do append and now you see that we have this eyes collection with everything inside it imported to this file. So the collection was added inside this collection. We can move it, I guess, to the scene collection. What we'll do first is to delete the face. We don't need it anymore. Delete. We will select our eye armature and resize it. So S, resize, and then we will move it up. G, Z, and move it only on the Z axis. Get closer here and do G, Y to move it forward. And when the eyes are completely visible and are outside the head, this is where we want it to be. Let's hit one on the keyboard to face our character. Let's hide the camera. It is in the way and we can resize again. S and resize. I guess this is good. And now we will go to pose mode, control tab, select all the bones and reset our transforms. So we do alt G, alt R and alt S. Then back to object mode, you can click on this icon here and do N. You see here under scale, it is now a scale of 0.048 from its original scale that is one. And we want this new scale to be the new one. So again, right click, select hierarchy and we do here control A. It should be location and scale. And if you changed also the rotation and you want the new rotation to be the default rotation, you should also do rotation. So apply scale and then control A again and we apply location. And when you do apply location, the origin point of the armature and the eyes object will change to the world origin here. So now if you select the eyes and try to rotate them, you see that they rotate on that origin point. And there is an issue with the empties, is that the change location when you apply scale. So let's find our empties. I don't know where they are. Maybe I should hide my character. I should select one empty and do the dot on the numpad. Yes, it seems that all four empties are now here in the world center. So let's select all four empties and let's do one on the keyboard. Let's zoom out. G and move them here. Now let's do three on the keyboard. So they are on this axis here. Let's move them forward. Let's click this icon here, toggle x-ray so that we can see the inside of the bones and let's move them to the center of the bones here. Nice. Now one again on the keyboard. So here are our four empties. Let's select one of them. Empty eye close left. So this one is connected to this bone, the eye close left. Let's move it to this bone. The right one, G, move it to the eye close right bone. Empty iris left, G, we move it to the left iris. And the last one, we move it to the right iris. Now we can zoom in and fix them further. G, move it here to the center of this ball here. Then this one, select and move it also to the center. This one, can I select it from here? Yes. And this one too. I'm doing G and then I hit shift to make my movement precise while zoomed in. And yes, this is perfection. 
don't worry about the pupils if i resize the empty again s you see that they are too big and we need to resize them again but we will do that a bit later so now we should join our eyes armature to our character rig and you will have to make sure also that the scale of your character armature is at one that you reset all transforms and it is best that its origin is at world origin and one other thing that you have to make sure of is that you have unique bones in each of these armatures make sure for example that you don't have a bone here named just root and the same bone with the same name in your main armature so again we select our armature we shift select our character armature but here we are in pause mode so let's go to object mode let's hit this icon so again select shift select the main armature last and do control j and voila now let's select our eyes object and let's go under modifiers and under armature this icon here is red and that means that we don't have an armature connected to our eyes object so we left click on the eyedropper we select our new armature voila now if we select the armature again go to pause mode and we move one of these bones we will be able to control the eyes and it is time to do some adjustments to the materials and drivers we have this bone to close the eyes and if we move it down you see that the eye starts to close slowly and we want this to happen faster than this let's go to the corner here left click drag and choose the drivers panel from here and then hit this arrow and disable it so that we can see all our drivers and we have have this driver here this is eye close right so let's select it let's go here to the drivers tab and here in var let's multiply it by 10 and see how the closing goes i think 20 is better so 20 enter and we try to move again yes i think this is good let's do the same in the other driver for the left eye multiplied by 20 enter and let's enable the x here symmetry so that moving one bone moves both bones and now let's go to the shading panel let's select our eyes and this is one of the materials for the eyes we have one material for the stroke of the eyes and one material for each of the inside of the eyes so here this is the left eyes material this one and i want to add a node to control the size of the pupil so here i do shift right click and drag to add this dot here because we need this single line here to be able to add a new node so I will select this guy and we duplicate it the mapping node shift D and put it here and now we change this from normal to texture and we have scale so you can either left click and drag and then you change the value you see how it's working on the left eye you can hit shift to make your movements slower or to make this simpler you can go here to this dots and drag then release your mouse and type in value to add a new value node connected to the scale and now we can control all three values with just this one slider 0 0.05 is good or 0 0.55 and now we go here under this slot and we choose the other slot for the right eye and we do the same shift right click and drag shift D change normal to texture drag a line from here value choose the value node and we type in here 0 0.055 and voila we fixed the size of our irises let's hit one on the keyboard to face our eyes and let's try to close the eyes again so a closing will happen and then there is a black slider that we go down to hide the eyes and make everything black we need the slider to come faster at about here when this bone is here we want the eye to be completely black so let's select it again and let's go to the notes responsible for that we can either move the slider move the black color closer to the white color here or to the edge and you see that it's hard to do so i think i will bring it back to its original position i think this was it let's check with the other slot yes and then i will add another node so shifts a and we type in math and let's put the math node here so everything is black i will change this to multiply and i'll start to increase this value yes you see let's zoom in this is exactly what i want now the eye is closed so the value is let's make it 16 and we should copy the same to the other slot so let's just copy this note Control c let's go to slot 2 i guess let's paste it Control v let's move it between these two so again let's move this bone this time very nice so these new nodes if for whatever reason we change the size of our rigs again they will help us to adjust again easily from this value and from this new math node here so let's select i close bone again and do alt g to reset location let's go back to this panel let's go here and do right click and join areas 
let's unhide our guy our character and we should apply the shrink wrap now so with the eye selected you go again in the modifiers and in the shrink wrap you see that the icon also is red and we just choose the target and it is our new character and voila the shrink wrap works but because the size was huge i had the offset set to 0.005 and you see that there is some space between the character and the eyes so we change this to 0.001 and now you see that the eyes are a little bit messed and that's because the iris bone is far from the surface and we had also a shrink wrap constraint for these bones so under bone constraints and the shrink wrap we choose our new target that is our guy again and it's fixed we choose the other bone again we select our guy and voila now moving this bone we'll always keep it on the surface and now there is one more last fix to do is to parent our eyes rig to the head bone because now if we rotate the head bone the eyes rig won't follow so what we need to do is to go to edit mode tab select our eye roots shift selects our head bone do ctrl p make parent and keep offsets left click back to pose mode tab again try to rotate the head now and yes Try to rotate the neck, everything should be fine, you can start animating your eyes, you can move the eyes here, you can move any of these bones, you can move the irises like this and like this. This character is very low poly so let's select it and increase the subdivision to 3 here and now the eyes should look better, the animation should look better. Let's try to close them and see that that black slider goes down and makes the eyes black so i guess this is it now to join and merge the mouth rake you follow just the same steps there's just one additional step in the old version at least now it is updated the names are not really unique so the root bone for example has the same name that we have in our character Control l is too generic so we need to rename them or batch rename them so either in pause mode or edit mode you do a to select all the bones and then you hit f3 and look for batch and we have batch rename so you left click on it and we get this menu here we choose here bones and instead of find and replace I think we do set name and here we choose prefix and here we type in mouth dot just mouth dot and you see that we will rename 12 bones here then we hit ok and now all these bones were renamed with the prefix mouth on them in the case of the teeth for example or the tongue I guess we don't need the mouth prefix and it should be unique or you can keep it like this to have some consistency so i guess this is it if you want to support the channel you can buy one or both of these rigs from the links in the description tell me if you have suggestions for future tutorials thank you for watching see you in another video and peace